Steve, anyone looking just at the score scoreline alone probably won't <coughs> understand what's happened in that game. And for me, lots of positives to take out of the game tonight. Um, what's your initial assessment? Um, I mean, first of all, congratulations to, to Files, obviously, going through to the next round. And we wish him um, a safe trip to, to Boston and we wish them well. Um, and, and, you know, congratulations to Nick. Um, we was having a little bit of things on the sideline there, but that's just football. Um, and they're obviously, they're working under tough conditions, obviously, with their gaffer uh, resting up. And from a football club, we do, you know, wish him a speedy recovery. Uh, he's a top guy. So, um, yeah, I mean, in terms of a spectacle, I think we, we matched them for large parts. I think we was a lot more on the front foot than we was in the first game. Because uh, the first game was attack versus defence, like they said, for the first 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And we, we was more of a resolute team. Which is a bit disappointing because first 15 minutes we've given away a really sloppy goal from a throw-in, um, which is something that we can work on. Uh, the lads took it well. And then I think we've shown great character to, to stay in the game rather than crumble because with the result, run of results, not performance, but the run of results, it's easy to get your head down. And I think we've shown great qualities there to stay in the game. And, and we started to play some good stuff. Um, <clears throat> I think second half, um, we, we wasn't as much on the front foot really with a real threat but we still had a lot of the ball and they never really hurt us but they've had four chances and been so clinical they took all four it was 1-1 there was a key moment in the game where we was on top and Dom Knowles has got a score and he makes it 2-1 and he's, he's put his hand up and apologised to the lads and, that, and that's the kind of lad he is um, but it's a key moment they've got to take and I think it changes the game maybe just dents their confidence a little bit but it it didn't happen and they've stayed in the game at that point and then they've they've caught us with a, a great strike that we do believe could have been saved and let's change the game a little bit at that moment uh, as a management team we know how we've played tonight uh, and we can take a lot of positives um a lot of positives from that i was going to say from, from a spectator's point of view i've been watching a lot of games in the last five or six years here there were lots of very very good individual performances i thought tonight and um, also the sign of some good partnership performing. Probably Doug Farms having his best games so far this season, partnering um, Harry at central defence, Tal Stevenson, Matty Walters. There's lots and lots of positives to be taken, aren't there, I think, in oh, terms of performances? There is, yeah. I mean, sometimes if you don't win the game, and I know that, listen, there'll be spectators that'll be worried. Don't be worried. That's what I will say. Don't be worried. Um, they've just got to be patient knowing that we have assembled a very good team and it will take time. And you just start to see little things like you say, Dad Stevenson's, he has moments in games, then he's out of games. And we had a good chat before the game and I thought that was his best performance by far. First half, I think he was brilliant. You know, he really sort of showed his, his true character, strength, pace, power. Uh, he was unlucky where he's at the post, could have scored again in the first half. Um, deserved his goal. Um Matt was really good. Um, he had a couple of shaky moments on Saturday, but then all of a sudden he, he grew into the game and his performance has carried on. I thought that's his best performance by far. The two central defenders, the, you can tell the difference between, say, um, what more who's their centre half, number six. He's, he's only a year, two year older than Harry, but looks like a man, mm. plays like a man, and he wins everything. And, and I think he was the best player on the pitch, to be fair, at times, mm. because obviously he's had a good battle with Dom and he's come probably out on top. Um, and that's what I need my centre halves to do. But they'll learn and get there. You know, you saw that with Daly on Saturday for uh, for Gloucester. Big towering centre halves. They go and win things, and and they take that pressure off you. So R two will learn that. But everything else about the game has done really well. Um, and it's a nice little partnership because obviously we've got people out and people are fighting to get back in. Um, but I also think as well because uh, I've been a bit critical of him. Um, Robbie Evans thought he, that was his best performance for me since he's, he's been uh, with me as my captain I thought even from the off he, he's pressing and um, he's relentless running trying to get things going for us um, it, that was his best one today so I'm really pleased for him um, We, I mean we've talked over the last few weeks about how's, how's that result ended as it has etc etc but is it on reflection now a case of looking at it and saying there's been a tough run of games there against a lot of good sides, a lot of full-time sides in in that mix as well. Yeah. And we had a 10-day break now, I think, 11-day break. Yeah. And the sign of the team will probably be in the in the fixtures this side of Christmas, well, Christmas and New Year. That, that'll probably be the yardstick for what we're going to achieve before the end of the season. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, there's certainly there's no easy games coming up for us, but I think when you look at the period that we've played, mm. um, every team seems to have been in the playoffs last year or they're a full-time team who's top of the league, second in the league, third in the league, fourth in the league, you know, um, and we've been very, very close. Um, but if you look at tonight's performance, 
it says 4-1. It wasn't a 4-1 game against a very good outfit. Who, And in fairness, they rested a few players as well. Um, but when we played them in our run of games not long ago, it was a full-strand team and we came out 2-0 uh, on top. We've got Southport next. You know, I know listening to Liam's interview, uh, he's a very honest man uh, in football and, and he said they're having a tough time at the moment. So could be a great spectacle that on, on Boxing Day and a, a great game. They'll, they'll be looking at us and thinking if they're going to change their fortune, they want to play Curzon. Mm. So mm. It, it works that way. And then we've got Bradford. Um, you know, they've had a, a few mixed results. Then we've got Southport again. Um, and, and then we've got uh, Geisley who again you know like us they pick up some good results and, and then they don't have some results and they're down there so it's a big month for us I think that's where it'll sort of not get us relegated or win a league or get us up here in the top 10 but I just think the team that we've got now if we're going to make some noises and, and get some results we've got to do it this month um, and I think we're very capable of doing that Right Steve enjoy the relative break in terms <laughs> of not, no matches coming up yeah. this weekend I know it won't be a break for you, but thanks again as ever for coming in and uh, we'll, we'll talk again on Boxing Day. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate.